Welcome back to 242 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And today we're looking at BJC Paper 1. This is a complete exam for you students sitting the BJC. Question 1. You're adding those three numbers, so go ahead and do it quickly. Question two, you're doing a subtraction. So let's see if you can figure this one out, BJC students. Question three, you're multiplying. Let's hope you know your nine times tables. Question four, you're doing a division. So this is long division or short division, do it whichever way you prefer. I prefer to do it short. Question five, draw in all lines of symmetry in the shapes below. Question six, no, it's another question five. Write the number with a five in the tens place, a three in the ones place, a two in the thousands place, and a zero in the hundreds place. Question six, place one of these symbols in the box to make each statement true. Place it on the line to make each statement true. Question seven, A and B, A, write 125 as a product of prime factors and B, find the value of the cube root of 125. Question eight, A, write the fraction of the shape that is shaded in simplest form. B, write a pair of equivalent fractions for the part of the shape that is unshaded. Question nine, in the figure below, state the value of angle BAC.
Question 9, the second part. Write the next number in each sequence. A and B. Do both. Question 10. Value added tax is charged at 12%. Ray bought $325 worth of goods. A. Calculate the total amount of VAT he has to pay. B. Ray gave the cash of $400. Calculate his change. Question 11. A bale of rice weighs 575 grams. How much would four such bales weigh? Express your answer in kilograms. Question 12. For Mike, the scores on 7 tests out of 20 were 15, 20, 11, 18, 15, 12, 14. A. What was the mean score? B. What was the modal score? And C. What was the median? Thirteen. A. Simplify three a plus five b minus a minus two b. B. Solve for y. Five y minus two is equal to twenty eight. Question 14. A. Draw and label angle X, Y, Z is equal to 120, 120 degrees. B. What type of angle is X, Y, Z? Final question, question 15. A, find the perimeter of triangle ABC, and B, find the area of triangle ABC. And here we go with the answers. Question one, 10,498. When you add, you had to regroup. Question two, in subtraction, you get 4,825. You have to rename. Question number three, 72,657. You have to multiply by nine. Question four, the division is 1,219, remainder four. You have to put the remainder. Question five, the rectangle has two lines of symmetry and the isosceles triangle has one. Question five, that number would be 2,053, 2053. Question six, you pointed to the smaller amount so that's how you would point those. It would be greater than for each of those. 
question seven. As a product of prime factors, it's five times five times five. The cube root of 20, 125 is five. Question eight. The shaded part is one four twelfths, which is one third, and the unshaded is two thirds. You can write it as four six. Nine, angle BAC is 35 degrees, 90 take away 55 is 35 degrees. The next nine, the next number in each sequence, 125, those are cube numbers, and then you're adding the two numbers to get the number at the back, B. Question 10, the VAT would be $39, 12% of 325, and then the change would be $36. When you multiply by four, you get 2,300 grams, that would be 2.3 kilograms. And 12, the mean, add them up, divide by 7, 105 divided by 7, 15, the modal square is 15, the median is also 15 when you arrange them in order, pick the middle number. Question 13, you simplify e to 2a plus 3b and y would be equal to 6 in b. Question 14a, you use a protractor, you draw an angle of 120 degrees, and then b, it's an obtuse angle. Question 15, the, the perimeter would be 18 centimeters, distance all around. Area is 24 square centimeters. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Wishing you all the success on your upcoming exam.